Hey everyone, my name is Tiffany. For those of you guys who are watching my channel for the first time, um, you may have got sent over here through my other channel, um, but you might have just came across this video just randomly. But anyways, for my old subscribers and my new subscribers, the big news is that I'm pregnant! <laughs> so um, I'm going to be doing um, pregnancy vlogs like week by week, um, kind of so that I can look back and see what I went through or later on down the line when I have the child I can look back and see my progress and things you know see um, you know how big I get and things like that and for maybe even mothers that are out there that you know need support systems I'm here for you guys and you know you guys can comment on my channel and maybe you guys are going through the same symptoms that I'm going through and yeah so that's pretty much the reason why um, it took me a while to um, think if I was going to do these videos or not because I know I have young subscribers, but um, I um, decided to do my videos on this Tiffany's vlog channel simply because I'm only going to be doing like vlogs on this channel and then I'm going to have my other channel for my makeup and you know fashion and beauty, beauty and all that stuff on that channel. So yeah, if you want to follow me through my journey these next seven months, um, subscribe to my channel and... Yeah, so I guess I'll talk a little bit about it. Um, today I'm nine weeks and two days. Um, I found out that I was pregnant uh, three weeks ago, I think like when I was six weeks. And um, I found out because um, I didn't miss, a, well I did miss a period, but I bled for like a day. So I thought that was a period. And I was on other medicine, and um, I thought that, you know, maybe that was messing up my period, and that's why it wasn't, like, normal. But anyways, I, I went to the doctor because my boobs were so sore. They were hurting so bad, and they felt lumpier than usual to me. So I went to the doctor, and, um, you know, she felt them and said that it was fine in pregnancy. He made me take a pregnancy, pregnancy test, and, yeah, that the story ends. So I found out back then... And, um, you know, I told my boyfriend right away. You guys probably seen my boyfriend um, in my other videos on my other channel. Um, his name is TJ, and he's the greatest boyfriend ever. We've been together for five and a half years. It'll be six years in June. And um, he's very supportive, and so is my family. So, um, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that I keep saying um. I... I this is kind of like, I need like a blackboard right here so I can see like everything that I'm going to talk to talk about in order. But uh, let's see. I had my first, um, um, <laughs> sorry. I had my first prenatal uh, appointment at eight weeks and five days and um, I had an ultrasound, ultrasound and I have the picture right here and it's, this is what it looks like. This is the baby right there. And obviously you can't like see features and stuff yet because I was only eight weeks and five days then. So right there, there's another one. There it is right there. Right, right where my finger is. And another one. Um, and the heartbeat, I heard the heartbeat and it was so cute. Um, it was 150 beats per minute. And, yeah I, yeah, I was healthy and everything. He didn't say anything. I had to go back um, for my, at 11 weeks on February 9th. But I don't want to go back to that doctor because, for other reasons, if you guys want to hear, but, well, no, I'm not going to talk about it. But I don't want to go back to the doctor, so I um, got a referral to another doctor, and I'll probably be making an appointment for that doctor, um, like, soon. So, that's that. Um... I have been taking women's prenatal one a day. Um, it comes with the multivitamin vitamin tablets, these ones, and it comes with um, the DHA EPA liquid gels. And these things are like freaking horse pills. Let me show you. Um, this is what they look like. And I take them every morning with food. I haven't... I've only thrown up like twice, I think. Um, the first time was because, I think because I took these and I didn't eat. And I just got really nauseous and um, I pretty much threw up the pills so, because I didn't eat anything with it. And then another time I was just sitting in class and um, I felt really sick. 
and yeah, that was then. Um, so that's the only that's the only times that I've kind of felt or actually threw up. I have like felt nauseous, but haven't didn't really have to throw up before. Um, some symptoms that I've had: obviously morning sickness, um, sore boobs, <laughs> breast. If boobs is not what you like to say here. Um, let's see. I had a cold when I first found out um, I was pregnant. Um, my nose is really stuffy, but that doesn't have anything to do with my symptoms. <laughs> but just that I let you guys know. Um, let's see. I I have. This is probably TMI. I'm really gassy. Um, not like I do pass gas a little bit, and then like at night I could feel like bubbles and like just gas in my stomach, and it's really kind of annoying. But I guess that's something that comes along with it. Um, I kind of get like dizzy spells like when I get up um, I have to like stand there for a second because I get kind of dizzy I don't know if that's a symptom or not but it had it hadn't happened before t before I was pregnant so I guess it probably is oh my gosh I'm always tired so tired oh my gosh it makes no sense how long am I? I'm only at five minutes six minutes okay um I just don't want to go over like 10 minutes but I'm always tired. I sleep all the time. I don't want to sleep all the time. Like, I want to get up and do stuff, but I just, I lay there and I'm, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to get up in like two minutes. And then two hours go by and I'm sleeping. I take a nap. Like, I've been sleeping for those two hours and I just am always tired. One time, um, I pretty much, like, was in the house all day. I rested all day. I had to go to work at night. I didn't do anything all day. When I got up and went to work, as soon as I got there, I was like, dang, I'm tired. I want to go back to bed. <laughs> Didn't do anything all day. I was just that tired that, I don't, I don't know. I was just, mm -hmm. I don't know. My, I might have, maybe I have low iron or something. I need some energy or iron pills or something. I don't know. We'll see when I go back for my 11-week um, appointment and for all those tests and stuff. Um, I can't sleep um, sometimes. Well, well. Lately, I couldn't I couldn't sleep at night. Like, it, it's hard for me to get to sleep at night when I'm actually, like, preparing to go to sleep. Not during my naps. My naps are good. But that, like, when I'm actually, like, laying there, it, it's kind of hard to get comfortable. Because I think that's just a mind thing, though. Because every, every way I lay, I feel like I'm crushing my baby. <laughs> even though I know I'm not. But, yeah, that's just, that's just a mind thing. Um, cravings. I crave, I don't crave pickles, I haven't craved pickles, my mom bought a big jar of pickle, uh, pickles, and I was like, mom, what, what is that for? She was like, I don't know, for me and you, you might crave them. I was like, well, if I crave them, what does that have to do with you? She's like, well, I might crave them too if you crave them. I don't know, she's so silly. But I crave sweet stuff, which is kind of bad, but I do. I crave candy, I crave ice cream, I crave cookies. Um, any type of fruit. I want pineapples, I want mango, I want strawberries, I want nectarines, I want any kind of fruit, give me it and I will eat it. Bananas, like all kinds of fruit. Um, but mainly it was pineapples and bananas at one point. Um, and then like food food, I crave Chick-fil-A and Waffle House. I just won a Waffle House the other day, I just wanted it really bad. Chick-fil-A and Waffle House. And that's it. That's all I want. Candies, candy, fruit, Chick-fil-A, and Waffle House. But I know that's not healthy and I can't eat that kind of stuff. So, I mean, I can, but it's probably not, it's not good for you because it's not healthy, obviously. But that's what I crave. Um, yeah, kind of want Chick-fil-A now. But anyways, um, I guess I'll show you guys my um, tummy. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I have to say. Oh, I'll be doing videos every week. Every every week, you'll you'll see my see me in a video. Oh, and my due date. My due date. I'm due on September first, two thousand eleven. So unless it changes, that's what it is for now. So I'll show you guys my stomach. And if you have any questions, let me know in the bottom. And yeah, okay, bye. All right, this is me um, with clothes on, front view, and I have pajamas on, so just don't even mind that. And this is me from the side. And this is without the shirt on. Or with the shirt on, but pulled up. 
it's not completely flat, but I definitely think that I gained weight since I found out because I'm always hungry and I always, I always eat. But this is the front view, and this is the side view. And I'm definitely, it's like bloated. I don't know, I feel bloated. Um, but yeah, when I went to the doctor, I weighed 123, and I the time before that I weighed like 119 so I did gain a couple pounds which I need to stop I don't know but anyways not stop but you know not gain so fast in the first trimester um, my stomach is like 29 and a half inches around so yeah this is me and that's about it so, um, until my next update, um, I will see you guys later on. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay? Love ya. Bye.